Hi everyone, Jay Carmia here from OptiPage Games. I'm so excited because we have our white samples in for Core of Discovery. So the white samples is basically the entire product printed, but it's all white. Nothing's actually printed on the, uh, the items, but I still thought I'd show you because I think it's, it's neat and it's interesting to see. And they provided all of the printings of all of the components, but on uh, kind of poster board. So we'll show you that as well. One thing that's missing is the plastic trays. So you won't see those yet. They're gonna send them in. Maybe I'll do another video for that. Let's check this out. So this is the, the base game. Like I said, just a white box, so pretty generic. Inside we have things like the, uh, this is the, the punch board. So this is, again, it's kind of funny and weird to see it all uh, just blank, but this lets you kind of check out the quality and see how the thickness is and see how it punches. And that's, that's all pretty good. Then we have the path tokens. These are, uh, I've seen these before because I had them in my samples uh, done by this manufacturer. And so these are pretty, uh, pretty okay. They look pretty good to me. I'll test them out on the uh, board later. Oh, this is the metal coin that we all got from Kickstarter. You can see if I reflect it right, the Cyclops eye. And there's a core discovery. Oh, I see they kind of printed upside down. Maybe I'm going to ask them to flip that because I think that's weird to have to flip it to make it uh, right side up. But boy, that's a big coin. Uh, these are the cards, which are just all blank, uh, but I'll open them later to just check for the quality. This is, looks like the supply board. Yeah, that's the supply board. Again, nothing printed on it. This is the, what a map feels like, so it's just going to be a piece of paper. Because it doesn't need to be anything more than a piece of paper, because it's going to slide into this guy. This is the contraption. We've seen this before in um, our samples, but this is now the final one. And so now let's just kind of test to see if this fits in. There we go. Perfect fit. That is great. Let's see what some of these look like on it. Weird that it's all white. It's so funny. But yeah, everything fits nice. Perfect. Yeah, it fits really nice. Okay, that's great. Exactly what I was hoping for. This is the... Oh, these are the folders. And see, it's got the uh, where the maps are. And so... Oh, I see inside the folders. Oh, they put the uh, reference boards again. Just normal cardstock. <laughs> and you get two of them in the core box. Fauna on both sides for one and flora on the other side. And these are the folders that hold the maps. And it's got a hole in there so you can see the map number that you're about to play. You can see how thick it is to hold even more maps if you download more. Or have bought more from some map packs. That's pretty handy. And it's sealed on two sides. So they only come out this the uh, on two the other two sides. So that's kind of nice. So there's one for fauna, one for flora. Great, perfect. Oh yeah, and here's all the maps. They put all the maps in this one. So I got to make sure they obviously spread those out. And then this is <laughs> the rule book. Now I noticed this when I opened this up. The concealer that is going to get bent all to heck. So we're going to change the design of our map concealer to not have that little tab, but make the entire thing bigger so the whole the whole edge will stick out so this whole thing will be a rectangle and have nothing stick out because uh that that's uh this is one of the reasons why you get these white samples made and so i punched a few of these out i wanted to see what they felt like and as you interact with them you can put the resources on the the tokens the path tokens so you can see where where they how they fit and how what they look like they're fine the only thing i don't like is the uh, minotaur tokens they're a little too tiny and they kind of they could kind of like dangle inside an open hole like that so i think i'm going to get them made a teeny bit bigger because that's that might be a bit annoying let's see how it looks like loading it with the map high uh, concealer so i go in here grab a map with the concealer so i don't see it and now with both of these i'm going to slide them into this kind of map contraption thing it gets a little bit sticky i think this is a little bit too thin still i'm going to ask them to make that a little bit wider so that it can um, have a bit more give because that's a bit too tight. Look how tight that is. I don't like that. There we go. And then I pull out the concealer, leaving the map behind, which you can't tell because everything's white. But that's there you go. The map is the map is in there now. And the idea would be before you took that out, you put all the uh, path tokens on top. Let's see what it looks like with a real map in it. And I am noticing. Oh dear. This is not fitting at all a real map, an 8.5 by 11. Uh-oh. Their sample one fit an 8.5 by 11, but this one is not fitting an 8.5 by 11. I do not like that. So that is some reason it got changed. 
I, I trim this one down, which I will not have you do from your own print and play, just to see what it looks like. But there you go. Yeah, that looks that looks really nice. There you go. All right, that's a that's a good feedback. Got a few things I want to tell the manufacturer, but otherwise, not too bad. All right, that is the retail edition. Now let's take a look at the deluxe and oh, this is the ultimate. And this is a piece of paper that I go on the back of the ultimate. And so that it would uh, wrap around the, the wrap. Oh, looky, looky. So it looks apparently in the white sample version, the wood gets printed on. This is the wood. Can you believe this? This whole thing's wood. Oh, that's gorgeous. Come on. Look at that. That is amazing. Oh, look at this. I love it. Oh, it looks so good. That looks so vibrant and so interesting. I'm going to slide a map in there later and we'll see how that looks like. Oh, wow. That is exciting. Okay, let's keep going. Map concealer's got that same issue with that tab. We'll get rid of that so that won't be there. Oh, here's the dual layer player board. Oh, we'll show uh, some stuff in here later. But yeah, this is where the cards go. That's where the water goes and the resources. The shelter goes there and the fire goes there. And then the cards go up there. Oh, I'm seeing... That area there shouldn't shouldn't have another. I should have a bottom layer to that. So they're missing something from our file, or our file's missing something. Got to check on that. And then, oh, these are all the map packs. Nice. That's the Kickstarter maps. Ten, 10 bonus map packs. And and the uh, oh, Mega Map Pack and the Foggy Map Pack. Now you got to remember, as I mentioned earlier, this did not come with the trays. So this is not how your game will come packaged. This is the white sample. Oh, look at all the tokens. Oh, the wooden path tokens they feel really nice and they look really nice oh yes that is really cool yeah that's great well i gotta see how these fit into the uh contraption now oh they just slide in oh my goodness you just have to shake it a bit and they all just kind of snap in oh this is going to be how can you play this thing without this wooden contraption oh my goodness this is the best thing ever Let's slide a map in here and see what it looks like. This is... Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're really exploring. Oh, this looks so much better. We just had the plain green one before. Now look at this. I am so excited about this. I can't wait for everyone to try this and see this and for themselves. Because this is like hardwood. This is, this is premium quality. I just think it's amazing. Wow cool and there's all these other tokens too are, are let's see let's take a look at the uh, resource tokens first yeah now these resource tokens are all in the shape of the resource which is really cool let's pull just dump a few out my hand here yes look at these so gray on one side and colorful on the other side now I'm noticing some of the some of them look it's hard. Uh, that's not bad. Some of them are hard to tell the gray side. That one's easy because it's red on one side, and then it's gray on the other side is easy to see that it's gray. But some of them are like the rock. It's hard. To, it's hard to tell. That's gray, and then on the other side, whoops, it is also gray. So I think we're gonna have to add the question mark in. We took it off because the vine and the wood were so tiny, but we're gonna try to find a way to get that question mark in. I think that one's easy to tell that it's the gray side. That's when you put it down when you're not sure and you're guessing this might be rock and you put a question mark down. So yeah, we got to add that question mark back in. So that's, again, this is why we do samples so we can see what things look like. What else we got? Oh, these are the other tokens that come in the base set. So what do we have here? We have the minotaurs and we have, uh, yeah, there's, oh, there's the minotaurs. Nice. Those probably have to be made a bit bigger too, I imagine. Let's just check. Yeah, there's, yeah. Yeah, they still kind of, yeah, I don't like that. So we'll make them a teeny bit bigger so they, they uh, don't slide in to the hole like that. And we have some sample tokens. Yes, those, nobody likes those <laughs> in a funny way. And those are the kind of plant zombie creatures from the flora. Nice. And we have the Greek fire. Nice. Oh, that looks great. Man, all nice chunky wood bits. I like it. And then these are all the components. If you got the ultimate, these are all for the expansion. These are all the wood bits you get in the expansion, like insect tokens. That's good. That fits nicely on the uh, board. I, I've seen that on the board. That's nice. These are your vote or accusation tokens. And these are the Fezron. The accusation tokens are for the Molten Auto chapter. Uh, oh, other monsters. 
Nice. Whoops. And the meat tokens for the Renaday, the Insecta chapter. Look at all these cool things. Oh, little hearts for the Vameter. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is great. So, so good. Let's uh, let's put these back. But let's, yeah. Let's see what the Insecta, I think this fits nice. And it does, you see, it doesn't fall in. That's great. Unless I push it in. <laughs> but it doesn't fall in when it sits there. So that's great. Ah, this is the shelter. I haven't seen this yet. I've been playing with like a little Catan house as a shelter. Now, see, it fits perfectly. That makes so much more sense that the shelter now fits in the hole. I love it. And, oh, it should go in the, uh, yeah, it goes here too. In the su supply board. Perfect. Yeah, it's nice and snug. And these are the crew. This is for the flora and then also used again in the Vameter chapter. And what are these? Oh, these are the lids for the trays. So these would have printing on them and, and component lists on one side. And per chapter, you would like, if you want Insecta, you kind of pop it open. And of course, all the cards. And uh, that's the rule book. <laughs> so funny they do this. It's my first time looking at this. What's this? This is supply board. Oh, that's not necessary. Oh, I'm going to give them comments on that, that. Do not add a supply board. We already have the dual layer supply board. These are all the reference boards in the ultimate. You get so many. Two per chapter. And many for fog, actually. Uh, okay, yeah, we've seen these again. Uh, all the map folders. More cards. And these will come all pre-packed in the wells. Not like this. They'll come all for one chapter, one expansion. It'll be all in the specific well. I like that those have a bit of thickness. That's great. Oh, and this is the only punch board you need in the ultimate. These things are, are like the boat and the Maldonado. This is for the fog chapter that covers up the mission briefing window. Let's see if it fits. Punch this out. And so put this on before you put the map in because they're all perfect. Perfect. And that covers up all the rules that you're trying to deduce. Yeah, that's nice. This is not for the right chapter, so that's why it doesn't line up underneath, but that's for the fauna. This is, oh, this is for the resource tray. This goes under the resource tray tray to uh, indicate which resources are in each section, and there's a spot for the for the shelter to go in the resource tray. Beautiful. Love it. Let's see now how these cards fit in the dual layer player board. The cards are normal, nice quality. So they go in here, and then when you go exploring, you put your path tokens, and they fit perfectly in that hole. That's nice. It just kind of holds it. We'll put three in. Now what I'm concerned about, now we finished that one, and it doesn't, you have to, it's actually more work. So, yeah, so what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this part out here, and just so, then you just slide it off, like that. I think that's what we'll do. Because if it's not, if it's not helping in the functionality, then it's not, it doesn't make sense to do it. Now let's see again uh, uh, how long it takes to uh, put all of this together. So we'll start a speed timer here, so it just speeds it up a little bit for you. And so, We'll take the map out because that's how you normally do it. Here we go. Three extra left over. And then at the end, you just give it a little bit of a shake and everything kind of falls into place. Oh, I like that. That's really handy. Oh, that is just so, so cool. Now let's show you the expansions. So I noticed right off the bat that they use a way thicker cardboard for the boxes than I had anticipated. I just want a normal cardstock for the um, boxes because there's more meant to be like a sleeve that wraps around it. So now this, this thing is kind of awkward, but that's this is just a sleeve that wraps around it so it can sit on a store shelf. You got your uh, reference boards and again your map holder. Yep, with all your maps inside. Great. You got a rule book. This looks like it's for Insecta. And you have your uh, punch board. So that punch board, we, did, we ended up using the entire size of a punch board because of, of the fact that we were going to use a thinner cardboard sleeve around the whole thing. That would help give it some rigidity. So uh, we'll have to talk about that because I, I think this is a bit awkward. And The idea is that you wouldn't really keep these boxes. You'd take those maps and put them into your base game. If, uh, and again, if you had the ultimate, they would all fit. Uh, they'll come pre-packed anyways. But anybody buying the retail version... The idea is you take that folder and any cards and just put them into your base game because there is room in there. So this is now the Vameter where it's got extra tokens. Again, it seems like a big waste of big, that big space, but it's, again, to give it rigidity when it's uh, in a thinner cardstock board. These are all pretty much the same, but neat to see. They all have different uh, 
Yeah, there's the reference boards. We're a Maldonado now. Maldonado has a lot of cards, so that's that's a lot of extra cards and a bit a lot of on the uh, punch board. This is why this one's more expensive. It had a lot more to it, a lot more components to it. And Fog, this one has a lot more reference boards to it. Let's see here. They won't be coming in that folder. I'll, I'll tell them not to put them in there. Yeah, there's like eight, eight reference boards because there's you can play Fog in all the other chapters. So we need a reference board. That. And then never it also comes with like. I think 18 or 20 maps. I'll have to check. A whole bunch. More cards. And a, tie, a bit of... There, there's that same punch board. And there you go. So that's all of the expansions. Now let's take a look at some of the um, printing that they did for us. So here's where you can see they give us all of these um, art. Just printed on paper. So it's not the right material. It's just to check the colors and the, make sure everything is um, the right printing that you want. Because... All of these uh, I've already proofread in Digitalese. Those are the folders, the maps come in, the reference boards, backs of cards, those are the destiny cards. Though that looks like the back of the box, the supply board, backs of the bigger cards like challenge cards and character cards. There's the fronts. That's so neat to see all of that. Checking the colors, make sure they, they pop really nice. They look really good. And all the tokens. So again, just printed just as for me to check, make sure all the colors match, which sometimes is really important in some games, making sure the colors match. Here's the supply board, just the printing of the supply board, the path tokens, pretty pretty straightforward. I like the path token, the coloring is good. This is the all of the cardboard punch stuff for the ultimate edition. That this is what goes in the ultimate edition. And then these are all the punch boards for all of the expansion, each of the expansion. You can see the front and the back, and the front and the back kind of flipped all the way over there. Yeah, I get it. Oh, neat. And that's what some of the expansion boxes look like. Very, very cool. And more of the folders. More cards for the expansion. That's just a... That's mostly Maldonado, I think. There's the supply board. Oh, this is the dual layer supply board. So you can see all three layers. The back, and then there's the bottom layer and the layer above it. Oh, that's neat. That's kind of cool to see that. And then these are the lids for the ultimate. We saw them as white things, but this is what they would look like. One side has the kind of label of the chapter. The other side has the components, so you know what goes in there. Oh, and then there's the resource tray. That's where the resource tray um, that we saw that as well, that cardboard punch out. Very cool. Well, that's it. That is uh, the white sample for Core Discovery. It looks so cool. I have some notes. I've got to go through it a little bit more in detail. Uh, and I, I made some notes as I watched that. Um, well, we'll make sure this is the best looking game and uh, best produced game. I can't wait to see the actual trays that go in there to see how it all stacks up so we can see, how, you know, does everything fit perfectly? Is, it, is there any box lift? I'm going to try to hope that there is no box lift for the Ultimate Edition. Uh, but stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching. This was amazing.